Hey you guys, Sean T. Phillips here with my brand new Black Friday Madness video. Gonna go around this evening to Best Buy, Target, Walmart, the mall. Gonna go and see all the kind of deals that are going on this evening. Cause you know, Black Friday begins pretty much, you know, uh, Thanksgiving at 5 p.m. for the most part, it's where it begins. Then goes to about 12 midnight and then it starts up again at around 6 a.m. But you know, if you guys are new to the channel, I concentrate on, you know, DVDs, Blu-rays, all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna see definitely what kind of sales we can find this evening. Of course, gonna go around though and look at all the other kind of stuff as well that are on sale and we'll also see if we come across any craziness or madness because you never know on Black Friday what you can come across what you can see what kind of craziness can be going wrong so let the Black Friday madness begin well now we're heading over to Best Buy first because Best Buy opens up at 5 p.m. as you can see the line now here on the side people it's not the longest line but you can see there are people over there like it just seems like it starts like right about here and here's all the line of people now, you know, waiting to get in here. There definitely is a decent amount of people, nothing like insane. I don't know what the big crazy door buster deal is that everyone in here is trying to get this year. You know, like I was here on Tuesday and there was a bunch of people camped out, but I think they make them take all the tents down, I guess at some certain point of time today. But as you can see, everyone is waiting to go inside. So it has about 25 minutes until it opens. So we'll see what we can find inside. Well, we are now heading on inside. Now let's keep our fingers crossed we can find something cool in here. Well, we're now inside. Got to head over to the movies and see what we can see. And they, like, they just let everyone in. Like It's only been open now about five minutes. So I believe all the movies and stuff is over here. So we'll see what kind of sales they got going on. The big thing you always see are tons and tons of TVs. You can see too, they always make like dividers with the TVs on the floor and the bottom. But look at all these TVs here, like these sharp ones for $3.29. But all the movies are over here. Like these ones here are like $7.99. And there's like Guardians of the Galaxy and War of the Planet of the Apes, Moana. So some ones over here too, like these Batman like set things. I think these ones are all $8.99. Logan, uh, The Big Bang Theory. That's the one thing you see though is with some of these things though, some of the big sales, they have a whole lot of, you know, uh, the DVD versions of them. But I know there's a lot of 4Ks on sale as well. Like all these 4Ks here are $14.99. So these are pretty decent prices here. There's like uh, Cesario, um, you know, Starship Troopers, Dracula, Baywatch, 50 Shades Darker. Great Wall, Kong Island, The Dark Tower. I kind of like this movie, and a lot of people like really dislike this. That's not a terrible price for $14.99. If the line isn't terrible, I might get this one because I kind of did like this movie. A lot of like the critics though didn't love it, like the Emoji Movie, Batman, Secret Life of Pets, Sing, uh, John Wick. So definitely are some pretty decent ones. Fifth Element, Martian down there Tarzan, Last Witch Hunter, The Shallows, all these, like I said, these ones are all $14.99 for the 4Ks. Then over this way, let's see, these ones are $6.99. And this is a really good price. I have this one though, Wonder Woman for $6.99, uh, Fished Fight, John Wick 2 for the Blu-ray, The Book of Life over here. These ones are all $5.99. And there's like the Peanuts movie, Trolls, Deadpool. So if you want the uh, the just the Blu-ray of Kong's Island, that one's only $5.99. So that's not a terrible price either. Definitely are some pretty decent prices in here. This is one though they're always trying to get rid of the Fantastic Four reboot. It's one of those things you see forever. Gifted here for $4.99. Revenant, which is one you saw last year a lot. Some more down over this way. These ones are like Batman, you know, v Superman for $3.99. Lawless, Masterminds. That one, I really like that movie. That's a pretty good price for that one because that was really expensive when that one first came out. Uh, the Harry Potter 8 film set here for $42.99. That's kind of average for what I think that kind of has been. I think I've seen that online for that. The thing is though, with some of these sales though, the same kind of prices you can get, you know, online. But still cool to see, you know, what they've got. The Batman that's set down there is, you know, I think 59 that's a really low price for that one and this Mad Max 
high octane collection thing there for 104 but there actually are some um, you know even cheaper ones like Wonder Woman here on 4k that one's only 999 and the Dark Tower just the standard one is only 999 so I might even just get this one because I don't even know if I care about this one on 4k $10 is actually a pretty good price kick ass down there for $10 so all these 4k's here are 10 only you know $9.99 you can see though it's definitely picking up busyness in here it's definitely getting a whole lot busier you see someone like holding the TV above his head like kind of like you know like but well, you can see this definitely like I said it's picking up busyness in here I don't see though what all the, the big things are like I said like in the middle is where they kind of put some of the big deals and stuff but it's kind of like random things like here over here is all the games and stuff so there's like a bunch of video games and stuff on sale in here mixed in they usually have like some systems on sale as well in here like much lower like bundle deals of some of like um the newest systems like with some of the games and stuff mixed in and stuff let's go over here though and see what's going on here with the tvs and stuff i like i haven't really even looked at you know what the kind of sales are with these but like I said, you see in the middle here, here's where it's like a ton of the, the you know, the TV sales like this one here for 129. Yeah, this is definitely one of the busy areas. The TVs and like the tablets over here. You can see here's some more of them, 179. It's like, that's the one thing too, is you get a lot of like the really gigantic TVs here for the lower prices. Every time I think of though, you know, like big crowds and stuff like this, I always think of the movie Jingle All the Way. And everybody like going kind of crazy for the Turbo Man dolls. That's sort of like what it feels like when you're in here. Definitely sort of like you're in living in Jingle All the Way with that kind of vibe and stuff. But glad I looked at the movies when I did because as you can see now, the whole section is totally picked up. Before when I first came over here, there was nobody over here. So I'm glad I looked at it when I did because now everybody's over here grabbing this stuff up. It seems like with the area I went to, no one really goes to it first. They go to this second. But yeah, definitely is much busier over in this area now. Yeah, well, I didn't end up picking up that one thing because I didn't like love that Dark Tower movie too much. Like, it was okay, but like I wasn't going to get in like the, the line for it because like a giant line. And I also want to head over to Walmart and see when they open because that's the one too. I really don't know what they've got on sale there at all. And that's where I usually get a lot of this stuff and could come back here later, but I don't know. Well, we're now heading to Walmart. And as you can see at Walmart though, they don't do like the lining up outside and stuff. They're already open and stuff. So you kind of can just go inside and then they kind of have people like waiting in front of like certain sections and stuff at least that's how it's been in the past for like certain deals and stuff but it's kind of funny how they don't do any of that like pre lining up stuff here and in Walmart they always have like these dividers in the ground like this you know for walking and they have police tape all over the place in here this is kind of like the only place I can think of where they're like have all these police tapes and if you walk the wrong way you kind of find yourself like trapped in here and everything in here is all like wrapped up so you see the thing here it says not to be sold until a specific time but we'll have to figure out you know where the movies and stuff is but you know everything's all taped up these are all like the big deals and stuff that all get unwrapped at 6 p.m. tonight yeah, so everyone's kind of just waiting around to kind of grab all of the things as they get opened up and stuff. And here's one of the biggest deals of the night, these pillows here. I just think it's so funny how everything's all wrapped up in this cellophane stuff. It's like, don't touch it. You can't get it until exactly this time when the deals begin. But I don't know where all the movies are in here. I have to figure out where that section is because they usually hide them. Like, I think sometimes they've been like in the frozen food area. But we'll see, you know, and that guy's like peeking in what, it, what these deals are. But you can see through it that it's like some kind of Hoover vacuum. But I think usually those are kind of hidden back in that way. Like they kind of change around where they are. And over here, everyone's waiting in line for these trampolines. I guess that's what they all want, these jump around trampoline sales. You see always a tons of these too, these gigantic stuffed animals. These are one of those things they always bring out and people have them for like $25 in their carts and stuff. I'm noticing now they're starting to unwrap things, like the cellophane stuff is coming off and people are grabbing stuff. See, they want this Faberware or whatever that thing is. Some, see, I see it's all getting ripped off. Down there they're ripping off. And everybody, the second they come off, people like grab them. Like, I want to get that Pioneer Woman, like, this. He's already got all those. Let's see what else they're ripping off. These ones, though, oh yeah, here's some more of it coming down. I love this, like, all the cellophane getting ripped off. You can see down here, they're taking them off of, like, so I think these are some of the printers and stuff down this way. Yeah, people have already, 
you know, start and grabbing everything. These, here's more of the, the cellophane stuff coming off everything. And the second it comes off, everybody starts grabbing everything. These are some kind of like spin things for your phone. But people are now grabbing all the TVs and stuff. So there's a bunch of TVs, some kind of sound bars on the ground. Yeah, but like all the TVs are getting loaded up. So you gotta be careful you don't run into anyone you trying to grab these things. Yeah, see, there's a whole bunch of TVs and sound systems in that one. Down here, though, seems to be the busiest area because it seems to be all the TVs, computer stuff, memory card kind of things. But yeah, this is this is the big area. I still can't figure out, though, where the movies are. If they're somewhere back there. But I've, like, looked around in here forever. I know they're somewhere, but I cannot figure it out. Yeah, it was cool. I caught them taking all the cellophane off of everything because that was kind of kind of cool I've never actually seen them taking everything off like that yeah see everybody's got the TVs those are they have TV sound bars these are definitely the big things that everybody wants to get in here and I figured out where the movies are they're actually out here like in the garden center back here so there is a bit of a line for this yeah I was, I was around in here forever you I think last year they were in like the frozen food section or like the middle of the food area they always move them around but, you know, I'll wait through here and see what they've got. Well, we're now in the movie section. Here you have to kind of check, like, they have, like, these little color price things next to them that say, like, what the price of the things are. So, like, you have to, like, match them up, you know, like, for, like, Home Alone. You match it up with this, and then it's, like, you know, $3.96 for that. But we'll look through here, though, and see if there's anything interesting. The best thing, if you can find deal-wise, is finding, you know, the 4Ks and the, the Blu-rays. Because there's a lot of, uh, there was one thing with Black Friday is you come across a lot of DVD copies, like Called of Chucky, you know, the DVD one of it. So that's the one thing I always feel like they kind of have, like, too many copies of DVDs, things that, like, don't sell, and they always try and get rid of them. Like, you've seen the last few years, like, The Revenant is one. I think last at least two years, you've always seen that one. Here's, like, a new cover on this home alone 3 i think that's like a newer cover to, yeah I don't, I, or new, one i've never ever really seen but looking through here and they definitely are much more picked over than they were at best buy because like over here you can see like where the wonder woman sale was like this is all totally real emptied out and picked over but we'll just keep looking around in here see what we can find yeah, I looked through in there. It didn't seem like their deals were like as great as Best Buy. Best Buy seems like it's like so far up to see how, what Target's like. Seems like they definitely had the best deals and stuff, but nothing that amazing over there. And like, um, they didn't seem to have any 4Ks, at least as far as I could tell. Or if they did, they were all totally gone. But now everything's been pretty much unwrapped for like 15 minutes or so in here. As you can see, it's already starting to kind of die down a little bit. Because like those, those big deals, like those TVs and stuff like I show, those kind of things, like once those things are gone, like the TVs that everyone has, those are the biggest like things that everyone kind of comes in here to get and then it's kind of just sort of random stuff But like I said in the movie section there wasn't really anything that amazing in there And one thing with Black Friday too is I feel like there's certain movies They bring out every single year again and again like the kind of stuff that you've seen like the last like three or four years Always on Black Fridays like the same titles just out again. There's some more of those big stuffed animals Yeah, there's so many people with these TVs over their head in here Like that's like the big thing is like dragging these TVs all over your head and everything but probably gonna head out of here soon because I think I've seen the extent of all the craziness and we witnessed them unwrapping everything in here which that's like definitely the biggest thing I was witnessing all that and everyone grabbing it the second they all start selling it but it seems like like I said the big things are the TVs and then like random little items and like pillows and stuff but now we're gonna head over to Target so let's see what they've got going on over there well into Target we go and right away, it's definitely not that busy in here compared to like how crazy it was in Walmart and stuff. This is one of the newer like remodeled targets. Like they just started remodeling a lot of these. I to figure out where the movies are in here though, but we'll find them. Over here in the electronics, though, is always the busiest area in here and stuff. People, but I think all the movies though were actually in the front. But I don't know if it's, sometimes they have some random things in here as well on sale. So you kind of have to look through all these sections and there's some kind of, every so often, random <laughs> other deals and stuff on other titles. But I mean, one thing that would be kind of cool, I was thinking that they could have had out tonight was the Super NES Classic thing. Because that would have, one of those things that's like impossible to find. 
And I feel like that would have been like a real Black Friday type thing. They have like, you know, 50 or 60 copies each store or something. Because that's one of those things everybody just buys it and immediately, you know, flips it online. But definitely not as, you know, as crazy in here as it was in Walmart. Walmart is usually the absolute craziest place of all of them. But they're kind of sale things. They have like these things in the middle kind of like in you know they did in yeah in walmart and stuff but theirs are kind of a little bit more together and stuff like and there was real specific sets and stuff that they put them into but over here though is where all the movies are and they do have a really good deal over here that I, a lot of people are telling me about was um oh they actually have the dark tower in here as well and that's actually only nine dollars in here this was actually in best buy i think this was i think this was ten dollars in best buy so i almost got that in here so if it's not a terrible line i might get that like i said i know this wasn't a great movie but one of the best deals they have over here for ten dollars they have the complete first season of stranger things here and i actually bought this when this first came out and i think it was like i think it was 25 dollars or something like that so i wish i would have known to wait for this but they definitely have tons and tons of copies of this one in here and i know the 4k one of that release but i've yet to see that anywhere i think i think someone said it was supposed to be out today here's some more of the nine dollar ones in here like kong skull island and they have everything everything chips some of these movies though are um you know going in style some of the stuff though you kind of know why they're here like they're not the absolute greatest movies alien covenant though that's not a bad price for nine dollars for that one logan uh rough night for nine dollars down there 50 shades darker here for nine dollars like i said i might i might get this one like i said i know this wasn't an amazing movie it was one of those ones i almost got though in the other place in Best Buy but it seems like for 4Ks though uh, Best Buy was definitely the best place to go though for the 4K titles but I think I might get I might if the line's not that bad I'm gonna probably get this Dark Tower and Sing which I really like this is one of the doorbuster sales you know they, all the ones they have at front don't have the slip covers but it's only $6 it's one of the big sales but I came right over to this section and I actually found one with the slip cover and you know it's the same price only $6 so that's a, a good trick you know sometimes you can find them you know the slip cover one it's a little squiggled up this slip cover but I was trying to find a little better one but still kind of cool you can find those ones because I always like to have the slip covers when I can yeah so I ended up getting both those ones in here and they were you know I think Sing was six dollars and then Dark Tower was nine dollars and the line wasn't bad at all so that was definitely a lot quicker than these would have been at Best Buy and I don't I don't even know if they had Sing or not there or not for six dollars and now we're gonna head on into the mall and see what's going on in there here we are inside the mall and there's some kind of huge line in there for something in GameStop. I think there's something I saw about like a free Xbox 360 someone posted a picture. I don't know what that means exactly, if that's what everyone in there is waiting for. But it definitely seems pretty busy in here. Down here though is the best place to kind of look over and see like all the crowds and everything. From up here you can like kind of peek down and see everything. And it definitely does seem pretty busy in here, not like totally crazy. But definitely are a decent amount of people in here and for the majority it seems like most of the stuff are open in here because some of the past years the certain stores and stuff weren't always open in the mall but this time it seems like the majority pretty much like 90 percent of all the stores are actually open this time and this is funny i've never seen this in my life a like a sneaker thing where you can win shoes you know those pickup things where you put the thing in there and if you grab them you grab shoes that's a really funny random one i've never seen my entire life one of all shoes one of the few things that doesn't open in here is Nordstrom's. They never usually open on Black Friday. I think they open up at like 6 a.m. But yeah, it is, like I said, it's pretty busy in here, but not like as insane as some, like some of the past years I've seen it in here. But nothing really too interesting to show in here. Just kind of poked around the mall to see what was going on. But nothing really that crazy and stuff in here. So probably going to head to one final Walmart of the night just to see kind of what Walmart's like now after being open for like three hours or so. Well, now heading into the final Walmart of the night. You know, this has now been open for about three and a half hours, so we'll see how it looks inside. And I still see some of the big TVs left. Well, these are not the bigger ones, these are like sort of the smaller ones left. Well, yeah, there's see where the movies are in this one because the other place they put them outside and kind of like kind of like hid them out in that garden center so they were really kind of hard to see and it was very dark out there and stuff 
in this Walmart though the uh, movies are all in the you know the code section where they keep the milk and everything but this one's definitely much easier to see everything because the other one outside in that weird area was kind of like hidden out there you really couldn't see it at all it was kind of like it was like almost like they put like the reject stuff outside like that so it's kind of a weird spot to put everything but like I said all these things are like with the tags and stuff but this one actually writes on the front so these ones are $5.99 so they have like you know that's not a terrible price down there for you know 31 Rob Zombie's 31 and it follows but um, nothing really that I've seen is too like that different like I said too a lot of this stuff too they always kind of bring out every year like there's certain titles that you always see again and again and again but I mean you know, at least I did find some stuff in there like Power Rangers this is a newer one this one in here this is another one of the 999 ones Game of Thrones though you always see that out every year there's a robot down there. These are all 996 as well. There's a little bit of action over here for something. I guess like, oh yeah, like the jeans and stuff over here. People going crazy for like, you know, like $5 jeans or something like that. I don't, I don't know if that's what's $5 over there, but that seems to be like a lot of traction for all the clothes and stuff down this way. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is all like the whole clothes area of things and stuff. And I found one thing in here, I think I'm gonna get this Matrix Ultimate Collection set here that has like all the movies and all the features and stuff. And it was only like $9.99 for this. So this is definitely a pretty decent price for this one. Well, that's all for this Black Friday video. Let me know in the comments below if you guys went out on Black Friday and what you guys picked up. Definitely were some really good deals. To me though, I feel like the best stuff deal-wise, especially for the 4Ks and stuff, was definitely at Best Buy. But anyway though guys, thanks so much for watching and subscribing and I'll see you guys later.